Yo, what is up YouTube? My name's Aaron and today we are going to be talking about the big update for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 <clears throat> that happened for Xbox One. Not too sure about PS4 or PC for that matter, but it was around 7.8 gigabytes. And from what I could tell, that seems like it is the biggest update that we've ever had before in a Call of Duty game that did not include some type of map or extra features and today I'm just gonna be pointing out some of the things that I've noticed and hopefully clarify why there is 7.8 gigabytes worth of an update it took me a little while I think it took me around 15 minutes to do um, and that's gonna depend on whatever your internet speed is so for some people this could have been a huge update and just left them sitting there for hours so first off the first thing that you see is on zombies now we have a daily challenge which I think is pretty cool uh, right here as you can see survive 20 rounds in a single zombies game that means you just gotta get to round 20 and then you can get plus one liquid divinium which I think is really cool I've looked everywhere a lot of people are saying that their ice and drag was included in this update but no because people that don't even have the season pass still got this update uh if anything i think it could be like the skeleton of the new maps to come but uh definitely is not the map itself as you can see right there uh we did not get any new gobble gum but what we did get was something pretty cool uh, as you can see around the rares or the megas, we have this nice glow around them now. I mean, you know, it's not too big, not too sure why they added this. It does look a little bit neat, I guess you would say. It looks kind of cool, and you're able to see uh, your perk just a little bit better. Um, but I'm still going through some zombie stuff, still looking. Nothing's really changed there. Weapon kits, nothing has really changed here either. Uh, you still have the same weapons right there, uh, same op options for each, but where things do change and where I think most of the update came, but definitely not 7 gigabytes worth. And it's because of the brand new weapons that are added. I think they said like maybe 9 or 10 weapons have been added. Uh, we can go and look through them real quick. I don't have them yet, but we definitely can look and see what classes they are. So as you can see right here, brand new assault rifle. This looks like the M14. I'm almost willing to bet that this is the M14. And something that kind of caught my curiosity, I haven't played yet. But what if these guns are in multiplayer or in zombies too? I think that'd be really, really cool. As you can see, no shotguns, no light machine guns. But as we move on to secondaries, we have this brand new pistol. Uh, it looks like an over and under pistol. I'm not too sure. This thing looks super deadly. I think it's going to be really cool. I would like to get my hands on it. And coming up, as you can see, the originals. But look, we have, now have a crowbar and a sword. And this, a crossbow. Weird, right? So I've never actually seen this before. Uh, I didn't even know that this tab was over here. Uh, but I do want to go for them. I don't have a ton of black market uh, coins or whatever you want to call them. Uh, but I do have 10 or 12. So live on this video right here, let's see if I can get anything new. I doubt it, but if I do, that would be crazy. So... Let's just try a common. Come on. Okay. 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 <laughs> this is why you don't do commons. Point in case right there. So, yeah, I didn't get any of the new weapons. I didn't really think I would. Uh, but, yeah, that's really it. They did say backgrounds uh, right here. As you can see, screenshots. You have not taken any screenshots, although I'm not too sure how to take screenshots. Uh, maybe that's something we should look into. Um, music tracks still coming soon. Uh, nothing else is happening. And uh, while we're here, uh, if you are still made it in this video, I just want to let you guys know uh, what you need to do. So as you can see, uh, my nat types moderate. The way you fix that for all of you uh, wanting to know uh, is just resetting your router. That's easy, or you can... Uh, Port, you can port forward uh, there's a tons of things but resetting your router usually sets it back to open if it is on moderate or strict do not worry it doesn't really mean anything uh, it's not really affecting your gameplay you personally will not lag the only thing is that um, you'll have other people have 
trouble connecting to you, uh, but you'll still be able to connect to them. That's the thing. So if it is moderate, it's okay. Uh, open is the best. So look for that, I guess. Like I said, it's it's not too big. But right here, connection meter. Make sure this is turned on so whenever you press start, you can actually see what your ping is. I, I don't know why it said for advanced users only. I mean, it's only a number. I, I don't know. I have no idea why they call it that, but hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you found any reason for um, this to be such a big update, you let me know, okay? Let me know. Okay, whoa, we have a new bonus. Okay, Dead Ops Arcade 2 has moved to bonus. Okay, I like that. I like that. I bet you it'll start right up as soon as I press it. Uh, the only thing, let me see if there's any new free run courses. Um, is this new? No. That could be new. I don't think it's new. Uh, and like I said, right there, bonus. That's actually really cool how Dead Ops Arcade's right there. So, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Yes, finally! You can join public games now! That's crazy. Okay, I really do like this update. It's worth the wait. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name's Aaron, and I will see you tomorrow with a... Oh my god. This is epic. That is cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you tomorrow with a brand new 